I can't carry you there, Mr. Frodo, but I can carry this drink all night long. <laughs> Seriously though, Elijah would drink this. I'm making assumptions. I don't know if he would, he just should. This drink really came about because of my love for vanilla. It can be ice cream, it can be vanilla, I don't even care. If it's got vanilla in it, I'm probably gonna love it and I'm gonna eat it a lot and then I'll eat some more because I love vanilla. I really wanted a vanilla to go with some of these whiskeys I had because so many times in a good whiskey you're gonna have these notes of vanilla in there and I wanted to make a syrup that would really bring that out. I also wanted to use a turbinado sugar so that it would be a little deeper sweetness in there. Sounds great in theory. I've learned. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad. This vanilla turbinado sugar, for me, is outstanding. As someone who loves vanilla, I could drink this stuff all freaking day. What I've learned is that that vanilla really brings out the sweetness. It amplifies just how sweet it is. It's like a synergistic kind of thing. If you wanna make it on your own, it's real simple. All you have to do is just make your normal, simple syrup that you're gonna make with whatever sweetener you want. Get yourself a vanilla bean, slice it so you expose the seeds, and you'll see they're just these tiny little seeds. Stick it in there and let it set for two to three hours. You can use it with any sweetener. I probably wouldn't recommend honey though. Hey, if you wanna learn how to make simple syrups, I made a video. You should go check that out real quick and then come back. For me, a sweet vanilla syrup makes a lot of sense with a bourbon. Bourbon is made out of a corn and in general, bourbons are gonna be sweeter than a rye or a scotch. The big challenge we had with this was because we had a bourbon which is naturally sweeter than another type of whiskey and a really sweet vanilla syrup. It was just too syrupy, it's too sticky sweet. We really worked hard to find something that would break through that and really add some depth to that and we ended up landing on a thing that's not here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we ended up landing on a ginger liqueur, and the ginger liqueur is amazing. This is the ginger liqueur that we were using. It's the Fruit Lab ginger liqueur. A lot of people out there are using the Domaine de Canton ginger. It's pretty much what you're gonna get at most of the bars. This, in my opinion, hands down better than that Canton ginger liqueur. It's spicy, and I love the spice in ginger. If you're a fan of ginger, you're looking for that spice. This is gonna give it to you more so than what you're gonna get out of Canton. Okay, so all that together, we have a drink. Here's how you make the drink. It's super simple. I'm using the Elijah Craig. This is Elijah Craig bourbon. I really like the small batch of the Elijah Craig. This is a nice, nice bourbon. Uh, it's, it's really good. And I'm not a huge bourbon drinker. It's not one of my go-to drinks, but this is a really good bourbon. We're gonna do two ounces of this guy. Chug, 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 chug. Sploosh. It's such a satisfying sploosh when it splooshes in there like that. We're gonna do a half ounce of this ginger liqueur and seriously, the spiciness of this, in my opinion, really brings this drink together. Here's this wonderful vanilla simple syrup, which again, I, I love vanilla and I love this simple syrup. Just that, that fresh flavor of vanilla, oh, so good. Now I'm gonna add a half ounce of lime juice. Wow, I've got a great drink. I've got everything I need, right? No. There's more. So I have always been really interested and intrigued by the concept of egg and drinks. What, egg and drinks? If you've never had it, an egg white and a drink makes an entirely new experience for you. This is a really good drink as is. Shake it up in ice, strain it into your glass, you're gonna love it. Take the time to put an egg white in there, it really elevates it beyond what you can imagine. Now if you've never done an egg white and a drink before, there's a few little simple tricks. If you've got one of these strainers, you can put that upside down, spring side up on there, take your egg, boop, and we are just going to gently crack that in there and let that white just roll through. Beautiful. Even if you do drop the yolk in there, those holes are gonna be small enough so it should hold the yolk, unless your egg is really old. The older your egg is, the more easy that yolk will be to split and spread into everything. The other thing I wanna do is after I put the egg in there, I'm actually gonna dry shake. Dry shake means I'm just gonna shake it up with no ice. All I'm doing at this point is I'm really shaking hard to get the egg white to emulsify and really get into this nice foamy frothy thing. You're gonna have to do this for a while. This is not a drink that's easy to make. You're gonna wanna shake for mm, maybe a minute. Why do I do this to myself? I don't know. I could have just been happy with the drink as it was. But then I'm like, no, no, no. Let's put something else in there. Let's do an egg white. Why not? Why not? You wanna learn how to be a bartender? Learn how to make drinks? Put an egg white in. What do you got to lose? It's only your arm. You only have to shake it for a minute. It's fine. 
I had this lids on tight. Shake, 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 da, 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 da. shake, 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 da, da. shake your egg white, shake your egg white. After you dry shake for quite a while, throw some ice in there and start a wet shake. One thing about this, if you use a really fine strainer, you'll probably get a better froth. Uh, I don't have the right kind of shaker to make that a thing, so we're just gonna use this one. Be prepared though, because when you're doing this, you may have a little bit of an egg white explosion when you pop this open. Not too bad. Look at that milky frothy goodness. Look at that. It's milky and frothy and good. If, you, if you're not comfortable trying it, I totally get it. This drink is great without the egg white. One of these days, push beyond that, give it a shot. I'm gonna throw just a little bit of Peychaud's because you know, what's a drink without bitters? And look at that pretty color it throws on top. If I wanted to get fancy, I could make designs or something. I'm not gonna do that. Maybe I wanna do that. Hold on, do I have a tooth? Oh, I know what I'll do. Hold on, hold on. Wait, where's my thing? Here's my thing. Let's see if I can get fancy. No, nope, that's that sucks. But you know what? I tried. I'll work on that. Oh, that doesn't suck. I could drink a lot of that. The name for this one comes from our friend Craig Queasy Waiter, who was on stream when he was doing this. And we used Elijah Craig, and he came up with the great idea that we should call it Elijah Wood Drink This. Because Elijah Wood lives in Austin, and we think he would drink this, and we use Elijah Craig bourbon. So Elijah would drink this. Elijah, if you're watching, you should drink this. Hey, if you ever want to come on the show, you just let me know. I can hook you up. I got the inside track. Let's see what I can do. If you want to try a little variation on this, instead of using the bourbon, try switching out a rye. We used bullet rye, and Craig actually liked it with the bullet rye better. Everything's the same except that, and we call this one the Gamgee. Because why not? If you try this, let me know what you think. If you switch out any spirits, I wanna know how that changes things. If you have any other suggestions, let me know as well. How would you make this better? I'm always learning. What do you have to teach me? If you like what we're doing, you wanna see more of that, you can click over there for some more videos. Don't forget to subscribe down there. And we do a live stream every month where we make these cocktails. If you wanna be a part of making them, make sure you show up for our live stream and join the party.